Hi, today I will show you how to repressurize your RO system water tank. This is to be done every time you change your filters every year. Tools that you will require a pressure gauge and a cycle pump. See that you turn the water supply off. If the lever is in line to the pipe then it's on. They have shut the water supply off. I will open the faucet. Let's drain the water. You will need to run all of the water from the tank. You will need to check the pressure in the tank only when the water has been drained out. If you check the pressure with water in the tank, you will get an inaccurate reading. As we see out here, there is hardly any water pressure. But the tank is full of water. I will turn this off. You could skip the step of disconnecting the tank tubing from the RO system. I will remove the clip. Press this in, disconnect the tubing like so. There is practically no pressure in the tank. This RO water storage tank made by Chemflow model number Pro 4000 and was sold by Aquacurt. It was not used for a long time hence there is no pressure in the tank. If you look at the bottom of the tank there is a black colored cap. Some water tanks have a blue colored cap. Turn it anticlockwise to open. Keep the cap aside in a safe place. You have a shredder valve out here. Let me zoom in a bit. The tank is heavy as there is lot of water inside. Now connect the pump to the shredder valve. There after pumping a bit of air into the tank you have the dead water flowing out. Check the tank a bit. There is still water in the tank. Need to put some uh, air in. After draining the tank of dead water, inflate air to the required pressure that is approximately up to 7 psi. 
if you have any water leakage by your valve then you have to re replace your tank so far I don't find any leakage so the tank is okay also the water is not smelling if it's smelling again the tank needs to be replaced or clean with chlorine it arises if the RO system and tank has not been used for a long time Connecting the pump to the tank valve, I'll pump air into the tank. Let me check the pressure in the tank by using a pressure gauge. Nope, I will need to pump more air. Now the pressure is approximately 7 psi. Put the scrap back, turning clockwise to tighten. After draining all the water, the tank has become very light. I will go ahead and connect the tank tubing to the RO system. Push in the pipe, pull it out so it locks and put back the clip. Go ahead and Put on the line, check for leaks and now the tank is filling up. That will be all in this tutorial, hope this is of help. Subscribe to our channel, share and hit the bell icon for similar videos.